Time now for the Big Eye, a segment we do every day about uh, innovations and ideas that could change your life. Who would have thought the latest touchscreen technology might already be obsolete? Well, that's why these wizards at MIT do stuff. They've come up with a new type of interactive screen. Check this out. It, it, the, the, the hand is not touching anything. It's just moving things around. We talked about this when we discussed the uh, Microsoft Connect the other day, a, a new gaming technology that basically allows you to do things without touching the screen. You just have to be near to control it. This is called by die No touching needed. Imagine the applications. It could stop the spread of germs in places like hospitals and clinics by eliminating contact with surfaces. Now, we've seen this in the Kinect video game, but instead of having cameras near the screen to measure your movements like the Microsoft device does, this one has sensors right on the screen itself staring you in the face. It also allows you to work 3D images, amazing stuff. Joining me now to talk about the applications for this, MIT, uh, for this is MIT researcher Ramesh Raskar in uh, Brookline, Massachusetts. And Ramesh is great at, at uh, telling us regular folk who don't understand the science of this why this could possibly be useful. It's definitely neat, Ramesh, no question about that. Tell me how this can be useful. Uh, certainly. I mean, we are so familiar with 2D touch screens now on our phones right. and devices. but. But we need to get out of that. We need to be able to interact with it, you know, change things, whether it's for design or for advertising, for interacting with our information. It should be something like we're holding an object and, and playing with it. And that's, that's what this is designed to do, right? I mean, we, this is the first year where consumers have really started to see this interactivity. There's, it's obvious that people are going to say to you many times, kind of like the, the Kinect on the, on the uh, Microsoft Xbox. How is it kind of like that and how is it different? So uh, with Kinect, which is an amazing technology, you have to stand off and, and use it because there's a camera on the top. Right. What is happening now is that the LCDs themselves are becoming photo sensing. So the whole surface of your screen, whether it's a mobile phone or a, or a big computer screen or a TV screen, is becoming light sensing. So it's sensing light the same time it's emitting light. And so what we are doing is we are converting it and doing a very clever co-design of hardware and mathematics so that we can capture 3D information of what's in front of this LCD screens. And do you foresee this being, uh, having specific applications or, or becoming uh, ubiquitous where screens of the future will read you? Certainly, I mean, if you think about 2D screens, we know how important it has become to see, go to stereo screens and automultiscopic 3D screens and the same thing should happen for 3D interaction, for interaction as well. Right now we are, we didn't even have touch a couple of years right. ago. Now we have multi-touch and now we need to go into a 3D world. And when do you think we will start to see applications like the one that you guys have been working on? Uh, I mean, you know, you can see you, a lot of the technology, as I said, is already here. And the fact that the pixels are becoming smaller and the fact that the frame rate is going up allows us to do some clever things because the, what we are doing in this bi-directional screen, which we call bi die for short, for every odd frame we are showing the image and for every even frame we are actually capturing I the see. image. So it's alternating between showing an image and capturing an image. So in terms of technology, it's almost already there and our key mathematical insight allows us to capture information that was previously available only in a two-dimensional format but now in a three-dimensional that's format. Fan, that's fantastic. I mean, I, it, it's gotten past the point where guys like me can even imagine the possibilities. I'm just going to leave it to you guys at the, uh, at the MIT labs. Uh, Ramesh, great to see you again. Come back with more of your uh, fantastic inventions for us. Uh, Professor Rashkar, if you want to get more information on his work, I've linked it to my blog at cnn.com slash Okay, some stories.